Hey guys, welcome to our kitchen. Um, today is going to be a little bit different because we're not outside doing woodwork. Today we're going to be inside doing some work to cleanse our bodies. Um, this is a really tasty juice. Um, what we are going to do is we have a beet here. I already cleaned it. Um, a pineapple and a small watermelon. And this is going to be our juice today. Um, I already cleaned the beet. You, they say you don't have to peel it, but some of it, some of the outside was looking pretty rough. So I went ahead and I just cut off those parts, and now I'll cut it to be um, small enough to fit in my juicer. All right. Make sure you have a, a bowl to catch the juice, um, and then I have a mason jar, a big mason jar that I'm gonna. Once I get the juice, I'm gonna pour it in there and then set it to the side. Look at the floor. It looks like a murder scene. <laughs> I'm gonna clean that. A lot of people wonder how to pick out a pineapple. For me personally, whenever I'm looking for a pineapple, if I can rip out the middle leaf very easily from the pineapple, then I know it's gonna be really ripe and delicious is my favorite knife. It is a dial strong knife, Gladiator series, and my brother actually got it for me when, it was either for my birthday one year or for Christmas one year. Hey, my camera cut off, but um, I cut my pineapple into spears so that it fits into my juicer nicely. Um, I do want to mention that when you are using, or if you are juicing beets or anything, you want to use glass because if you use plastics, it will sting. I have a Rebel Juice Fountain Elite Juicer and I've already had it for two years so I think it's coming to the end of the road for this one. I am looking for a new juicer so if you know of any really good ones you can go ahead and comment them down below. What I wanted to mention is that whenever I juice my pineapples I have two settings on my juicer. It's high and a low. I juice these on high and it comes out a little foamy but it doesn't have any pulp or anything in it, so it's just um, awesome. For a watermelon, I like it to have one of these lighter green spots on it, and then for the skin to not be too dark, and then you'll be sure to have a nice, ripe watermelon. I just cut the ends off. Toss them. And then, mm, I can smell it, it smells good. One thing that's really great about this juice is the beets are super great for uh, detoxifying. It's good for cleaning your liver. If you drink alcohol, the beets are really good to restore your liver. Um, and, Beets are just really great for your body. Watermelon is super hydrating. All of these vitamins and minerals from this juice are gonna be so good for you. And it tastes delicious too. So, if it didn't taste good and it was good for you, it'd be hard to drink, but it's good for you and it tastes good. It's a win-win. If you are new to juicing, I think that this is a fantastic juice to start off with because it doesn't taste like your 
you know, what you think of whenever you think of juice. You think of greens, kale, bitter. This is delicious. It tastes like candy, literally. As long as you have gotten ripe fruit and you're juicing it whenever it's ripe and ready, it's going to taste fantastic. So I highly, highly recommend this juice. If you can see, my juicer is uh, like, it looks like it's exploding. <laughs> and this is why I think that I need a new one. Um, anyways, um, hope you guys try this out and enjoy the rest of the video. Definitely squeeze some lemon into it to keep it from here. 